welcome to Flooring Models Kit Review Time. Today we've got Fly's 132nd Arado Bomber. This is the AR234. It's the B2, B2N variant of this kit. Perhaps you've never heard of Fly before. Trust me, you're going to want to see this one. Great Czech company. Uh, they bring out some great stuff. So actually this is the uh, German Reconnaissance Bomber Night Fighter version with all the little bits on the front. As you can see, great little box art on there. Not too much actually on the box itself. Obviously, you say it's a Czech company, so most things are in Czech and English. Uh, the kit number is 32008, as we can see. And we've got the different versions down here in the box uh, and other versions available. Okay, so what you're going to get is, if we can get in here, they do a few different versions of this particular kit, which is quite nice, okay? In the box, as we know, because I say a short run kit with these, technically they're not quite a short run kit. They're a little bit more established than that, but certainly they're a newest one to me. So starting off with on the old little booklet here, as we can see. So you've got your standard sort of parts call out, what you're going to expect. And okay, it's not, you know, as glossy as some of them out there, but it's definitely practical. So it's talking about the various bits because obviously you're going to get a lot of aftermarket in the box, which is the nice thing about this one. Putting the cockpit together, putting in the bezels, things like that, and the instruments, the rudder pedals, usual things. Nice little call outs for down in here. Then going in, obviously we're going to get the harnesses uh, in photo etch, so you can install them, putting the cockpit actually together. Okay, more of this cockpit work going in, putting the seat in, okay, some of the side systems going in there for the actual tub, okay, and that will finish off your actual cockpit area. Then we're coming back next to the actual, the main wheel wells, installing them. Obviously they're a one piece fit, can it go straight in? Again, we'll look at those carefully in a moment. A little bit of cutting to do, as we said, they've got different variants of this kit out there. So if you fancy just doing things like the bomber version, things like that, there are other ones out there, okay? So for this particular one, we're gonna make a little bit of surgery on this, gonna cut open the inside panels to install those rear windows. And then down the back here, obviously you've got the, the rear uh, instrument area, being a night fighter. Wings going on, okay, and I said, you know, we'll look at this in, in a moment, but you can see some of these things might be a little bit tricky to get in, uh, this bottom area down in there, but it's something we'll look at in a moment. And then generally wing halves going together, nice little bit of info with a cross section there of exactly what it should be looking at. So it is gonna be sort of a 90 degree angles on the tail surfaces. Okay, then we've got the antennas and the wires going in on the back. Okay, talking about a nose weight, obviously up the front, and then you've got the front section going on, then the wings, and that's what we're saying. Because there's different versions of this kit, it's quite modular, okay? Then you've got the standard engines going together, not too special in there, but practical. Then we've got the rocket assist info for the motors with the parachutes on the front, okay? And the fuel tank, the wheels, other areas. Then it's a case of putting all this lot together, getting them installed and in, getting it onto its gear, okay? Funny little angles with the gear, so just be careful with those, but it shows you very clearly about them all going in, as you can see. So looking to be a very nice kit indeed. Then we've got all the glass work up at the top. This obviously there's a lot on this kit, talking about obviously putting in where it needs things, some drilling some holes in the front of it, for obviously for those antennas, which is up next. So you've got your antenna system going in in there, putting them all in, and then obviously you've got the important thing, uh, which is the gun system uh, in there, being obviously a night fighter, okay, and that is gonna go in onto the belly of the beast and everything else, and the glazing for the rear compartment with a radar operator. Nice little touch here is the 32nd Wessex that they are doing, I do have to mention it, because when that comes out, I will be doing it, okay? So, pretty good. So, in the box, as you can see, it comes literally like this. You've actually got zip bags, so we've got one for clear part, you've got these huge lumps, very interesting, as I say, it's 30 second scale, Okay, bits of resin. And then you've actually got your main parts themselves. So what we're gonna do is, I think if we just get these bits out of the way first, let's have a look at the plastic. So, in here we have a nice sealable bag. And then we have the resin. And we have these, and let's say I'm hoping for, that's the ones we're after. Okay, so straight off the bat, we've actually got very nice color printed. Um, so you've got obviously your different markings. So you've got sort of this freehand model color, which looks really nice. Or you can just do that standard sort of splinter camo that they actually have. And obviously you've got your decal placements. And okay, they're a little bit small, but you know, they're perfectly clear and in register. 
And then on the other side, you've got the same type of thing, a couple of other markings as well. So you've got the plain green, and then obviously the more brownie version of it as well. Nice call out, because you've got the RLN colors all down here and everything else, so it's very straightforward for doing those. The decals themselves, I don't see the need really of getting them out. Pretty good, uh, perhaps the carrying film's a little bit thick, things like that, but plenty of detailing, and all this you can see down here, this is all for, you know, literally all the framework for that nice clear bit of glass work. Lots of fun. Okay, so there we go. And obviously on the back here, again, you get a very nice piece of photo etch. Okay, so you've got your seat belts and everything else. It's got a slight bend in it, but it's very thin, uber thin. It's very, very thin. So that's going to be nice. So it's going to work quite well. And you've got texture on the belts as well, which is nice and stitching marks and all those areas. So they're pretty good. Now, the plastic themselves, as you can see it here like this, um, it's very sharp, very crisp, okay? Now, we're talking a um, short run kit, so things you're gonna expect. You're not gonna find locating tabs with it, all right? You're gonna find a little bit of flash, you're gonna find perhaps the odd little miss mold, uh, and little pieces like that. That's the price you pay for a short run kit. Generally though, the manufacturers are very good. Um, the quality control is as good as you're gonna get for this type of thing, okay? What you do find though, and again, it's gonna be one of those things, we just drop some cameras, both of them in a little bit. You can hopefully see we've got recessed, because it's very shiny, you've actually got recessed panel line detail, which is extremely fine and crisp. As crisp and fine you'd find on any major stream manufacturer. Down here on the tail, again, it's just one of those things trying to catch it in the light, different angles, perhaps we'll try over on this one. Um, you might be able to see, you've got some, there it is, just catching it on this camera nice details down there lots of riveting and all the details you'd expect on the actual rocket uh, assisted uh, takeoff packs on the side a little bit of a sink mark if you like on the actual doors themselves but you wouldn't worry about it because as i say it's quite thickly molded on this side and you can see from the inside it's relatively a blank okay so that's the thing to it is that you're not going to get too much in the in the inside but you could, you could be made up of resin and all those things that you look at the moment from a basic point of view that is your starting block okay and from that point it's very good no problems with any of that at all okay you've got uh you do these guys first the wings obviously hopefully you can see that detail that's a very nice very fine recessed panel and uh, riveting detail and latch detail on the wings like that as you can see we've got Nice little detail on the inside of this guy just down here. Very nicely done, some nice stuff just down there. But generally as you work your way across, you're catching it in the light, you can see all those details, very nice. The wheels, again, a very nice touch because they've actually got some very nice details in the inside with all the bits and pieces going on in there, which is very nice to see. The standard type of drop tanks of the era, as you can imagine. Again, crisp, sharp, no problem. Shame we haven't got any weight on wheels on here, and it's a shame they didn't do resin ones, but you know, that's the, again, inside, very clean, just a blank. Okay, other part of the wing. So this is the uh, upper side, I do believe, as you can see. Again, all fully recessed and everything else. We've got the actual engine nozzle bits here, down there, and the tail planes. Okay, quite clean on the inside, no sign of any problems down here. The ejector pins that are there are sunk and out of the way, so they're not gonna be a problem at all, okay? But as I said, you don't get any locating pins, which in some ways is always a good thing, because they normally are pain anyway. So down here we've got the engine, um, nor cells, nauticals, whichever you wanna call them, uh, down on there, pods, all right? All of this stuff is very clean, nicely clean. We haven't got much flash on it at all, tiny little bit, but as I said, short run kit, we expect it so we don't mind it. We have got some details for the instrument panels and things like that, like there. And generally, very nice, all of this, no problem at all. Okay, it's a little bit scratchy, some of the mold, but again, it's what you pay for short run. The downfalls of having a short run kit, as long as this kit is a perfect example of it is, the body of it is all good. The recessed pan lining is very fine, very detailed. Other areas, pretty good, all of it. It's no problem at all. They go together really well. What stands this kit massively above all the others is this little lot. Because in here, we've got all the resin work, and this is where it turns a standard short run kit into a thing of beauty. And also, don't forget, we're dealing in 132nd scale, so things are quite big and bulky. So actually what we got down here, these are the actual main gear wells, very nicely done. Some nice wiring running around there, all the details, very crisp, 
very very nice no problem with that and it's going to be a straightforward drop in because it's a blank inside it means all of this fits in no problem if you've got to remove all that detail that was in there before it'll be a right pain so there we go we've got the two uh, gears up there like that then down in here as you can see we've got the first part those little areas go on the end so we've got the nozzles just like that we've also got the fronts all the tails no these would be the fronts uh, going on these are the first stage compressor blades running down there again beautifully done no sign of any problems with that molding at all really really nice you've also got the seat okay uh, as I say, it's very, very nice. Not too much detail on it, but I think probably going to be very, very adequate. And then the second part, obviously, we've got here. This is where it's all going to sit onto. We've got the main back bulkhead to the actual uh, area. Now, I'm not sure, but I presume you're going to leave all of this big plug on here. You're not going to really need to remove it because there's nothing behind. And then in there, as you might be able to see, we have a very, very nice wheel well with all the details you should sort of expect. As you can see, some really nice stuff in there. Okay, and that's a thing of beauty. These really are fantastic. I love the texture on these. These are absolutely fantastic. These are the parachutes from where the uh, the rockets take it up and they burn out, drop off, float down to earth. These, the texture on the actual resin itself, absolutely exquisite. It's a beautifully done, very nicely packed, and it makes your painting of it so much better because it will just jump out with life then. Because by dry brushing, doing the little bit that's on there, the texture on the resin will lend itself perfectly to it. So instead of having to make texture, it's already got it on there, but they literally are a thing of beauty. Absolutely fantastic. Doesn't stop there. Next bag up. We actually have, a bit compact in here, this is for, because obviously this is the, uh, those ones there, if you like, are a standard set to all the versions of this. This particular one here is obviously for the, the Night Fighter version. So we've actually got the, I think this is the gun bay underneath, uh, fitted in there just like that. Again, it's totally a thing of beauty. Very, very nice. All of that. Looks like an alien. Okay. One piece lump but beautiful, we've got no, nothing on it whatsoever. You've actually got no blemishes or anything else you would expect from a mold. And let's face it, I see, you know, even the big companies like Aries and stuff like that and Edard, you still get the odd bit and piece, nothing on these at all, absolutely beautiful. So then we've got, this is the rear cockpit. Again, the padded cushions and nice textures in there, really like the look of that. And generally right down to the oxygen bottle uh, and the details in there, a very nice one-piece plug. So we love that, that's very nice. The gun barrels themselves, okay, you could replace, I suppose, with metal, but they are dead, dead straight. No problem with those at all. They are absolutely on the button, no problem. Even side by side, as you can see, very, very nice, okay. Instrument wiring and things like that for the radio gear, all those types of things, absolutely beautiful, no problem at all. Okay, and this will be the rear seat. Obviously, it's a copy from the front one. All right, and then, as I say, it keeps giving. So next up, you've actually got, I have to be a bit careful with this one because it's not exactly brilliantly packed. I know, it scares me to death when you see bits hanging off. But down in here, we've got some more of this detail. So here, you've actually got, this is for the actual, the main gear. So you've got the suspension. You've got the sway braces uh, for on the wing pylons. Okay, and the bits down there, so that's very nice indeed. More details, as you can see, very nicely done. Some of the gear bits and pieces down there, and all the rest of it, some nice stuff, including a little worm drive screw there, which is beautifully done. Okay, and then more of the little bits and pieces, as you can imagine. We've got the details, got a battery there, and all those areas, which is extremely nice. Okay, and again, more bits and pieces, as you can imagine. This is all the bezels for the back of the actual instruments. Because it's a clear canopy, you can see them. So it's great that they're already there because otherwise you'd have to do the old trick of, you know, a little bit of um, plastic rod, chop it up and put them all on the back. But you've got them already there, so that's beautiful. Antennas, aerials, things like that. Beautifully done, again, very nicely molded. And this little guy just down here. So that's nice. We've also got one of these so this is the aerial set as i say injection molded on this particular part so we've got the antenna hoop and then we've got the actual the the whiskers okay being a night fighter 
all the radar equipment on the front which is going to go on there it's nice that it's actually injection molded it's going to be a little bit stronger than standing up to it being sort of standard resin you get a couple of bits of wiring so we've got a very small piece of metal just down the bottom here put my finger behind it perhaps you can see it that's just there and then obviously we've got some twine in there various thicknesses for detailing up and then your last bit is this okay now short run kits you normally worry about the clear parts okay to be honest that's where we start and this isn't gonna disappoint it's a little bit speckly and it's probably the weak spot on the actual aircraft itself that's because it looks like there's a contamination in the molding the way it's done it's more reminiscent to me as back forming than certainly being on its own but i don't know how well the camera will pick it up but you have got a little bit of distortion just down in it but it's not distortion as in wobble it actually looks like there's bits in amongst it all and being that this thing is all glass it's very very noticeable that said the the actual parts aren't too bad i think you get away with it once there's things in there it's just looking through from a depth point you can see them once it's up and you've got you know something in behind it quite close i don't think you're going to notice it too much all right but generally perhaps the weakest part of the kit being the clear parts but as i say it's only a small little gripe generally it's pretty good all over it looks actually like there's a film of grease over it but it's not because when you wipe it nothing happens all right but uh, apart from that very very good so there we go that is a fantastic kit as i say if you've never built sh you know short run kits limited run kits things like that before you know i would do your homework first don't just jump in this i would then say go and jump in on this kit it looks absolutely amazing it's 130 second scale as well so it's a bit of a beast all right it's not like a little 148 that we're used to this is 130 second lots of resin and the great thing with this resin is it's been very cleverly thought out so you can do different versions of this bomber obviously different kits of it are available they do different versions of it but certainly from our point of view as modelers it's great to be able to see this to have a company to come along and do it do all the resin work and everything which are just straightforward plug-in parts there's no adaption really required there's a couple of cuts on this kit but for all this resin parts to go in it's a straightforward pop it in and away you go so definitely highly recommended